Welcome everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with another video and in today's video we are going to talk about seasons in Farming Simulator 22. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to use seasons specifically, this is uh, a discussion about whether or not you want to run seasons as a beginner uh, playing this game, uh, Farming Simulator 22. Now, to start with, Farming Simulator 22 is the first in its uh, in its line of uh, games uh, to use seasons as a base game. Um, uh, in, in, in the base game itself, so it comes with the game. In Farming Simulator 19, it was a, uh, a, a downloadable mod you could add to your game. So, what is Seasons? Well, Seasons is basically what it sounds like. It is the seasons of the year, January through to December, um, that, uh, uh, that will affect what happens on your farm. Now... If you go into your menu and you go down to your little calendar here, it will uh, you will see that we are in August, which is, uh, that's where you start when you start a new game. You start in August, and that's why you had uh, some wheat in our field that was ready to harvest. Now, the um, this, uh, this little breakdown here, uh, the orange is... Uh, when crops are ready to harvest and in what the t time frame of that is. And the green is the planting season that you're allowed to plant certain types of crop. Now, it lists all the different ki different ki types of crop that are in the game and when you can uh, plant and when the harvest is. So particularly right now, August, uh, canola and uh, poplar, grass, and oilseed radish. Those are the types of plants or crops or things that you can plant at this particular time. Now, this adds quite a level of difficulty to the game and perhaps could be a little overwhelming for the new player. Uh, let's go back into the menu and if we scroll down to... Game settings. Uh, at the top, of course, pause menu. And uh, so we have an entire section of seasons here. Now, this is where you can basically turn on or turn off the seasons um, of the game. And basically um, uh, make it so that you can plant uh, any time of the year whenever you want, basically. Uh, let's go through them kind of one by one. Uh, seasonal growth. You have yes, no, or paused. Now, the description here uh, under seasonal growth, it says, turns on a growth calendar that adheres to the seasons and the withering of plants. Planting is only possible when the crop can reach maturity. Now, there's a lot in that sentence. Uh, we know about the uh, limited to what you can plant depending on the month, but it also mentions withering. Now, withering occurs if you leave a crop that is ready to harvest too long in the field. It will wither beyond a certain amount of time and it will be useless. You will just have to be able, you, you can't harvest it any longer. You'll have to plow it in. Um, of course, um, uh, the, the the planting is in a, within a certain time too, because um, it takes certain amount of time to grow and to come become uh, come to ready to harvest. So, here's this is where you can if you say if you turn if you turn it to no, the calendar option here disappears. As you can see, it is no longer here. And uh, that basically says you you are free to uh, do what you know plant whatever whenever you like. Um, the other options, uh, if you paused means nothing. I mean it means it pauses the growing 
altogether. Nothing, even if you plant it, it won't grow. Uh, nothing, everything's on pause. You can go, uh, um, the days and years can pass and nothing will grow. So be careful with that. Uh, that's, I don't see any reason why you would, I mean, there might be, I can't think of a reason why you would need that or want that. But anyways, uh, just be aware of that. So for for now, we'll say, um, we'll say we'll turn it off. Then the days per month. Days per month still affects the growing your growing cycle because it runs on months. Uh, so this is whether you have it on or off uh, effect. You can have it up to 28 days, uh, which is something uh, getting into the details of seasons is uh, if you are just starting off one day a month, uh, keeps the game moving, especially when when you are um, you just have one or two fields and uh, if you have too many days it drags out the uh, you end up doing nothing for very long periods of time a fixed visual month this is interesting you can have this set at any of the 12 months you want and it will if you notice uh, okay we're in August October if we go to October uh, the trees, look, they have turned color. Um, so you can have it perpetually on October every day, no matter what the month says, uh, or November, or or any of the cha- of the of the months. Or if you have it off, then it will, then the uh, the environment will show, uh, be equivalent to whatever month you are um, in at that moment. Now with the seasonal growth basically off, uh, even though it is looks like winter or could be in the December, you you would still be able to plant or harvest crops. Uh, snow is basically on or off. That means if you have it on, it will still snow in December, possibly, um, and accumulate. Although uh, with seasons seasonal growth off you can still plant and do all your other stuff so it's a bit of an interesting twist on the whole seasons thing um and that's pretty much seasons um as far as that go if you really want to dive deep into the immersive experience of seasons um Go ahead, try it. You can always turn it off at any time or turn it on at any time. It's not something you have to start a new save for. Um, and that's about, uh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about because it's a kind of a once, uh, the next step is, well, seeding your crop. And uh, with seasons, it complicates things uh, quite rapidly if you are just starting out in the game so i hope that helps out anyone that is uh, wondering about seasons uh, like i said this is no, by no means a in-depth uh, tutorial on seasons it's just a discussion of giving you some information on whether or not you want to proceed in the game with seasons on or off in order to enjoy it uh, the way you want to enjoy the game uh, it is a, available either way so Having said that, I will end this video here. I hope you do and did enjoy. I hope this gave you some idea. I hope it's it's it was good information. Please leave a comment if you uh, uh, if you had any questions or wants. Uh, you know, uh, there are plenty of videos um, on YouTube about seasons and so forth. I might make one at a future time. But for now, this is the intent of this video. I'm Looney Farm Guy. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, it's just a game. So have fun. Till next time. Bye for now.